Hello, hello guys and welcome to this very special Let's Build episode because in this episode we are building a little clock tower for the B team. As you can see I got a little start going. I uh, tried out some things to get a little inspiration going so we're just going to continue on where I left off and we're going to start by actually just finishing off these um, these edges around here and making this all nice and pretty. So we build up these yellow stained blocks. I'm not precisely sure if this is the right height because I couldn't really tell that well from the video. But I'm going to hope that it all goes to plan and that we get a nice looking church out of this. So just quickly building up these bits that we already know. What I did is I, I extended out these... Um, uh, no, this is in the same spot, but I made the the, the tower is gonna make a little bit of a turn where it uh, where it goes out a bit wider. So it's it, it the the top bit is a bit wider than the below bit. So this this doesn't go straight in a in a three by three. There's a, a, like on the inside, but it'll go on sort of a five by five circle, which makes it a little bit more bulky and a little bit more interesting to look at so we're just going to round these tears off here uh, where we got these and then we got this one uh, so I put these these here for the let, let's actually first grab this redstone lamp put that there and I figure it'd be cool to have like an all-rounded clock that just shows the time on each side so when people walk in from the other side of town, like, oh, look, look, it's it's high noon. It's time for this showdown. And then they can all rush to the village and then, you know, gather around to the sides and, and, and they'll see the, the glorious battle in, in, in full epic. I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm just rambling, basically, to fill up the time where I'm doing these things. So, yeah, let's just... Um, I'm, I'm making it bulkier on the on on the down uh, the, the 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 lower areas because just a straight clock tower down is a little bit strange. You wouldn't normally see a clock tower that just goes down right like that. And we'll just grab these and we'll grab that one and put that there. Uh, what did I do here? Let's actually just grab these fill this in how did I I have that open actually but we can I'm sure we could get away with using a little bit of cobble we're using it at the top uh, we could use it at the bottom as well or we could make the base out of cobble actually and make this out of that or we can go inward with the logs and then place a little slab there. That looks actually quite nice. I think we can get away with that. That's not too bad. We'll just fill these in here and then put this slab here. That looks quite quite decent actually. Uh, if we just replace these with cobble and then these look a little bit on the wide side actually now that I'm looking at it. So what I could do is make these go like that and then make the cobble go around, put some blocks there, put these down, cobble go around, and then we get two blocks we put around that side and we get some stair blocks from the oak kind. And this map uh, where I am, this terrain, is terrain I customly made in World Painter that I'm using on the Western Let's Build that me and my friend Thorin started. If you haven't seen that, you can check that out. There's probably a link on the screen or on the, in the description somewhere where you can uh, have a look at that uh, because we're, we're, we're using a texture pack and it's a little bit more of a... Um, a very much detailed build and uh, it's looking quite nice for for right now. We've done we've done two buildings and it's going pretty well. So I definitely recommend you watch that, check it out, give it a chance. And 
what do I want to do? I think I want to add some more variety actually uh, by grabbing these guys and putting them here and there and then these here and there. Now the problem is that the there's redstone on the inside so that may have to change uh, but this could also look quite nice I think that looks quite good we'll just have to make sure that these connect up at the top here and then we could put a little slab down there so it joins up at the top and uh, there's a slight issue that I have with these types of um, cobble surroundings is that now it doesn't really look like a circle anymore uh, which is not something that I like to see so I'd rather change it to something like that or make the base bit more uh, more of a rounded shape uh, but then you have the issue of um, actually what am I, do am I doing this? yeah I'm doing this right uh, so at the bottom now we have this this nice looking base uh, we, we're just gonna put make, do a quick test and see what it looks like when we take those out and just put cobble around here because that actually may look a lot better because of the um, the circle issue that I just mentioned uh, if we just take a look at that that actually doesn't look bad at all um, I want to round this off with a different type of block because the the, the top of the log isn't really something that it's, it's like a pillar basically a pillar block and a pillar block should have a top and a bottom that's just um, that just makes it look a lot more pleasing to the eye if we do that so if we just finish this off around here and then we do the same thing on this side and put these there put these there and make this one go there finish off the cobblestone below area part thing majiggy whizzle shizzle and finish off the fences and then put the slab on top actually what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, finish off the rest of this design of the blow and then I'll be right back and welcome back guys we've got a look at the finished clock tower now which uh, as you can see I fiddled around with this design just a tiny bit hey it looks like I'm nope didn't miss a spot thought I missed a slab there no worries I uh, mirrored the design on each side and I made this little roof design which oh I actually didn't finish it properly hello you always miss these things da do ga jeez uh, which actually I got give a little credit to my buddy Thorin Films. He used a similar sort of design, but in a slightly larger scale on a on a um, a, a church uh, church. I think it was a church, some sort of tower clock tower design that he used. Uh, sort of similar, reminded me of uh, of what he did for that. So check him out in the description as well. And that's basically it. This is a design. I actually think. Uh, the clock tower would look a little bit better if this area, this this long area, was just a slightly bit, slight bit higher. But I don't know how that would work out with the redstone. But I think it would look better if there was a longer, uh, longer bit, longer th thin bit uh, before the the actual clock begins. So if like raise it up like two, three more blocks maybe, and you can just continue this pattern and this the the. the the fence post up to that point which will uh, I think look better in the end I have I, I didn't get a chance to test it out myself because I have to break it down and rebuild it all and I don't really have a lot of time at the moment so um, yeah I hope uh, everyone likes it I hope the B team likes it if they